Apple is making its biggest move into finance by offering loans directly to consumers for its new buy now pay later product taking on a role played in its order lending services by banking partners such as uh, Goldman Sachs. So in essence Apple is reducing the role of banks in pay later lending plans. So according to the folks at uh, CNET, they have it that uh, Apple Pay Later will officially launch with the release of the new iOS 16 for iPhone in September of this year, 2022. So you're going to find a link to uh, this in the description box below. So um, Apple Pay Later, which was announced on the 6th of June, Monday 6th of June, Will be accepted by millions of US related retailers that already take the iPhone's mobile and online payments, um, giving it a broad reach and an enviable consumer base who can who can already afford the company's smartphones. Uh, the company's move into the core banking business has long been feared on Wall Street after years of uneasy alliance. In the past, Apple has worked with Goldman Sachs to issue a credit card in the US as well as with banks such as Barclays in the UK to offer financing for purchases of its own devices. However, those banks' roles are diminished in the latest financial product. Goldman is uh, facilitating Apple Pay later by allowing Apple to access MasterCard's network since the iPhone maker lacks a license to issue payment credentials directly. But Apple's handling, uh, the Apple's handling the underwriting and lending uh, using its uh, new subsidiary. That new subsidiary is uh, Apple Financial, uh, Financing LLC. So Goldman Sachs said it will, it was excited about uh, their partnership or uh, their partnership with Apple, which will uh, only continue to grow. The setup will allow Apple to earn in interchange fees for each transaction as well as uh, give it more control over data. However, if a customer fails to pay back the loan, Apple must swallow the loss. Apple has uh, previously rolled out other online services such as uh, Apple Music, iCloud and TV Plus to dozens of, uh, of uh, countries simultaneously, but at present, Apple Card is only available in the US. Though the company declined to disclose its uh, specific financial mechanism, Apple can easily afford to learn from its own balance sheet, especially for short-term loans. It had net cash of $73 billion at the end of March this year, 2022, according to its uh, recent quarterly results. The buy now pay letter service is the latest addition to a growing suite of Apple financial services, all managed through the wallet app that comes pre-installed on every iPhone. Apple Pay, which the doc, which uh, debuted in 2014, allows iPhone and Apple Watch owners to use credit and debit cards by tapping their devices to wireless readers in stores. In 2017, Apple added the ability to make peer-to-peer -peer payments via service now called Apple Cash. Apple said it did not see a need to apply for a banking license at the time. At this time, several tech companies, including Amazon, PayPal, Stripe, Stripe, Shopify, and Block, which is uh, formerly uh, Square, offer financing to finance to small businesses but few big tech groups beyond specialist fintech companies such as Klarna and Affirm have extended loans to consumers for general purchases as Apple plans to do. Okay, so see what you make of all of these things and you can read up uh, CNET's um, piece here and you will digest a lot concerning um, buy now, pay later, which as I indicated earlier on, is going to be officially launched in September of this year, 2022, alongside iOS 16 for uh, iPhone. So thank you very much for watching this video.